Welcome back. So in this lecture session, we shall understand the working of a mod 3 asynchronous counter. In the previous video segment, we have studied and we have seen how we can design a mod 3 synchronous counter where both the flip-flops were triggered by the same clock pulse. But in case of an asynchronous counter, you do not have a single clock pulse triggering both the flip-flops. Right? So we shall see how this can be done. So when we talk about mod 3, so mod 3 means that there are only three states. The states are 0, 1 and 2. That is 1 less than the mod value. Now if I need to represent them by binary, I have 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and then it comes back to the state 0, 0. Okay? So now these flip-flops have to come back to the state 0, 0 after 1, 0. So what should be done is the question. Right? So now for that to happen, let me give the clock pulse to the first flip-flop. So I've taken two JK flip-flops. Both of them are negative H trigger flip-flops and you have clear here and you have J1, K1, J0 and K0. Now if both the inputs of J and K are tied to 1, then the output toggles. So we have seen that we can actually design a mod 4 counter if the output of Q1 is given as the clock input to the next flip-flop. So we have seen that in the design of asynchronous counters. So if I have this as the circuit, what happens? I would get, initially I would get 0, 0, then 0, 1, then 1, 0, and then I would get 1, 1. But now what should happen? After 1, 0, when the state changes to 1, 1, then these two flip-flops should be cleared. So when they change the state from 1, 0 to 1, 1, immediately both the flip-flops should be cleared. Right? So now what should we do? I should get a 0 when there is a change of state from 1, 0 to 1, 1 such that that is given as the input to both the clear inputs of the flip-flops. It should become 0. So the output is 0 when both the inputs are 1. Now which is the gate where the output is 0 when both the inputs are 1? It is indeed a NAND gate. So when both the inputs are 1, when both the inputs are 1, the output is 0. So when will both the inputs be 1? When the state changes from 1, 0 to 1, 1. Right? So I give the output Q1 as well as Q0 as the inputs to this NAND gate, to input NAND gate. Right? So Q1 and Q0 are actually given as the inputs to this two input NAND gate and this output is given as the input to clear, right? So if you have the state that is Q1 and Q0, this is Q1 and this is Q0, alright? So what is the output coming here? So the output be called as Z. For the first state, 0, 0, then what happens? Z is 1. So the state changes from 0, 0 to 0, 1. And then when you have 0, 1 coming in, the output Z is again 1. So the clear is disabled. And then when you have 1, 0, the output is again 1. But when the state changes from 1, 0 to 1, 1, what happens? I have 1, 1 coming here. So when you have 1, 1 coming here, this becomes 0. So immediately, both the flip-flops are cleared. So therefore, the output will immediately change from 1, 1, 2, 0, 0. So you would have 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. And when the flip-flop tries to change from 1, 0 to 1, 1, what happens? The clear for both the flip-flop is activated. So therefore, the outputs are cleared. Cleared meaning that the output becomes 0. Right? So this is the working of a mod 3 asynchronous counter. Alright? So in the previous video segment, we have seen the design of a synchronous mod 3 counter and here we have seen the working of a mod 3 asynchronous counter, right? So to get all the other videos in digital electronics, make sure that you go through the playlist digital electronics or click on the i icon and do not forget to like, share and subscribe and press the bell icon to get notifications of further uploads and thanks for watching.